told us that you spent $2.54 billion for R&D, for Imbruvica, even though the drug didn't get any better. Really, it was all for these innovations and indications, which are designed to keep competitors off the market and find new sales opportunities. So I want to look at what other money AbbVie spends doing its business. You filed 165 patents for Imbruvica. You filed patents for Humira, other drugs to keep competitors off the market. How much did you spend on litigation and settlements from 2013 to 2018? Congressman, let me correct one thing that you, I think you just said. Uh, and it is not true that we didn't invest in additional indications and additional diseases. As an example, we received approval after the development work of uh, uh, graft versus host disease. Reclaiming, we also reclaiming my time. Mr. Gonzalez, how much did you spend, did Abby spend on litigation and settlements from 2013 to 2018? Uh, I, I don't have that number offhand. We'll be happy to give it to you. Okay, $1.6 billion, $2.45 billion on R&D, $1.6 billion in litigation and settlements. What about marketing and advertising? How much does Abby spend on that? Uh, well, marketing and advertising, we spend about $4 billion a year. Yep, $4.7. One billion. How about executive compensation, 2013 to 2018? 2013 to 2018, it's probably on average about $60 million a year. Try 334 on for size. Now, how much did AbbVie spend on stock buybacks and shareholders, stock, stock buybacks and dividends to enrich your shareholders from 2013 to 2018? Well, stock buybacks, if you actually look at just pure stock buybacks, it would be about $13 billion. Stock buybacks uh, and dividends is the question, sir. Uh, dividends, I'd have to come back with that, a number for that over that period of time. $50 billion. So, Mr. Gonzalez, you're spending all this money to make sure you make money rather than spending money to invest in, develop, drugs and help patients with affordable life-saving drugs. You lie to patients when you charge them twice as much for an unimproved drug, and then you lie to policymakers when you tell us that R&D justifies those price increases. The big pharma fairy tale is one of groundbreaking R&D that justifies astronomical prices. But the pharma reality is that you spend most of your company's money making money for yourself and your shareholders. And the fact that you're not honest about this with patients and with policymakers, that you're feeding us lies, that we must pay astronomical prices to get innovative treatments is false. The American people, the patients, deserve so much better. I yield back.